Hi, Lions fans. It's Aaliyah Funchell from GoColumbiaLions.com back with another Coaches Show episode with women's basketball head coach Megan Griffith. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Yeah, excited for the weekend. Yeah. Well, the last time we talked since then, you've had a pretty down-to-the-wire win over Delaware and then a more comfortable win over Maris. So what are the takeaways from those two games? Yeah, I thought, you know, Delaware won a um, tough team. Um, you know, they made it to the semifinals of the WNIT, WNIT um, the year prior. And, you know, just a team that I think is really competitive top to bottom. Uh, they don't give up. Um, we had a little bit of a, a lead built, too. And then, you know, it was just kind of like a game of runs in that second half. It was like they made a 7-0 run. We made a 9-0 run. They made a, you know. So I just felt like that was a game that really tested you in terms of resilience and adversity. It was, I was really happy to see with you know how our team responded, especially down the wire. And again, amazing shout out to our fans, especially the Student Athlete Advisory Committee and the Lions Den. I thought they were phenomenal and totally, you know, the edge we needed to push us over for that game. Uh, and then Maris, you know, going on the road, getting battle tested yet again. Um, it was nice to see just a total team second half effort. I thought in the first half we started the game really strong, um, and then waned a little bit effort wise, just attention to detail in the second corner, but picked it up. So something that you mentioned after the Delaware game that really stuck with me is that your team is past the point of the buy-in part of it, and now they're truly believing in what you're doing. So can you expand on that? Because I love what you had to say about that. Yeah, you know, I think the first step is, is trying to get the right people on the bus drinking the Kool-Aid, like talking the message, but then for them to really believe that they can achieve something together and doing it the way that we want to do it and the way that we're prescribing to do it every day in practice. Um, you know, it's like they really believe like this is the right way. This is the winning way, you know, of Columbia women's basketball. So I think that we're at that point and, you know, what we now have to do and focus on is just like fine tune execution of details um, and really remember the little things matter. So I know you just kind of touched on it, but can you expand a little bit more about what the team needs to polish up on before the team breaks before finals, the last two home games before that break? So we have these two games, which is great. Uh, we have one more non-conference game coming right after the Christmas break, um, and then we hit Ivy League play. So you know what we're going to do over these next two, three weeks is just really make sure we refocus on what we need to do, sharpen up offensively, defensively, um, and then try some new things. This is the time that you almost get like a little bit of a um, mid-season, like, uh, mini camp for your team, right? And I guess it's a it's an opportunity for us to make sure that you know we can add things to our bag and make sure you know um, our arsenal is deeper and we're ready to to use that when the Ivy League play comes around. And speaking of Ivy League play, something we actually talked about on the podcast was the team's RPI strength of schedule. So how is that that going to help you? moving into Ivy League play. Yeah, it's something you know, you're really mindful of when you schedule ahead of time. And you do this like a year out at mm -hmm. least. And so, you know, one thing I knew coming off of last year in the years before success, um, this was a team that needed to be tested and tested early. Uh, and, you know, for us, we know our, our league is, is, very ta is very challenging. We've got a lot of great teams, a lot of great coaches. Um, and we wanted to make sure that we would be tested the right way against the right kind of teams. So it's, it's really a great sign that, you know, we're sitting where we are on top 100 with net rankings. And um, I think it's going to look really good for us come March. And we just got to take care of business in January and February. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me and good luck on Saturday. Thanks, Leah. And make sure to come watch them in person Saturday versus UMass at 2. You can buy tickets at GoColumbiaAlliance.com slash tickets. Until next time, I'm Aaliyah Funchell.